and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Advance 4. Last time, we finished World 2, and now we're moving on to World 3. Which is everyone's favorite world in the game. And I say that sort of ironically, but a lot of people do like World 3, but a lot of people don't. World 4 is always everyone's favorite, but I think it's overrated. I like World... Which world do I like? Um... I mean, World 4 has some cool concepts, but it is overrated. Um, it's not that good. Losing a Fire Flower there is actually really bad, just a warning. Uh, but you actually get a second chance at one here. So that's good. You kind of have to get out of the way of that fire plant, though. Uh, this blooper is in a really bad spot. Um, get out of here. And there's a mushroom down here, not that we will probably need it, we have way more lives than we ever need. This game is actually not that hard. Uh, again, like I said before, it's like the one Mario game I almost beat as a kid. Oh yeah, it's in the block. Um, I went the wrong way. It bounced right into me. Okay, that worked out. Unintentional victories. I didn't even see the blooper there. Almost got hit, actually. Aha! So that's a good method, actually, of getting a mushroom. Just got turned back. That's actually what speedrunners do, because you don't want to get this cutscene and uh, speedrun because it takes like 10 seconds. <laughs> matching. See if I can actually match, because we've been kind of not doing so well in the matching lately. Uh, one up. Is the other one up here? Shoot, I hit the wrong button. Um. So we'd have two stars right on top of each other. Is it here? Nope, fire flower. I know I've seen the other coin somewhere, but I don't know where. This level is frustrating, to say the least. It's one of those where you just kinda go through as fast as possible. Uh, so you, it's, this is, if you think this is actually a fast playthrough, then this is not a fast playthrough. Speedrun is basically just bounce on like all the cheap sheeps, just fly through the level. Um, way faster than I ever could. I've been thinking about picking up another game for speedrunning, um, but it's not gonna be this game. I can guarantee that much. I do not have the hand eye coordination. Even though I'd like to speedrun this game, because I do like this game a lot, but I just don't think I'm coordinated enough, or patient enough for that matter. So we have a fire flower, which means we're pretty much set for world 3-3. Three, three. I always say world 3 dash whatever, um, when that's actually not correct, I should just say 3-3. Three, three. Weird quirk. 3-3 um, three, three is actually really difficult without a fire flower, and it's actually like painfully easy with a fire flower. Uh, you want to do this, like you want to get up here, because then it can't reach you. Um, because it has a certain height limit, basically. Uh, so you want to uh, keep that in mind, just stay above where it can actually grab you. And then it's actually a piece of cake. Uh, no white mushroom house, oddly enough. This level looks like it should be one, but there's actually a similar level, 3-8, which is actually the white mushroom house. We'll get to 3-8 way later. Um, by way later, I mean like 10 minutes. <laughs> this world goes fast when you know what you're doing. Go slow if you slowly if you don't know what you're doing, um, and it sometimes goes slowly even if you do know what you're doing, just because of luck. I'm going to use a mushroom because we technically have a boss battle coming up, even though it's just laughable. Um, this level is confusing. On a first playthrough, once you get the pattern down, it's like one of the shortest forts in the game. That was dumb. Um, basically, all you need to do is go through the sixth door, and that's it. It's not even randomly generated, it's just always the sixth door. It's just easy. And this is gonna be the time, well, the one time I screw up on Boom Boom, just because I don't have a power up. Oh man, that was actually like, I think that last jump was like almost frame perfect, because I almost just jumped on the spike. Okay, that was like way... Well, that was actually way scarier than it needed to be. <laughs> um, well, 3-3. Three, three, it's done. So now we're moving on to 5. I'm doing 5 with Mario because 5 is the water level. Therefore, Fire Flower. Next, I, I think 
three, four is actually kind of a ground level with some water just kind of there. <laughs> so it's actually better suited for Luigi at this point because he has a lot of mushrooms. I might actually use a star because I haven't done that like this, this entire playthrough so far. Shoot. Losing the fire is actually not good there because you kind of need it later on. Um, this blooper is not being cooperative. That hitbox is a lot bigger than I thought it looks. Um, which is actually a, th a thing in old games where like hitboxes tend to actually be like boxes. Um, like they tend to actually look like, you know, squares. Which is really confusing because a lot of enemies aren't square and yet they can actually hit you in a sort of square pattern. So that's something that happens in older games. I don't know how much that happens anymore though, actually. Mushroom and star. <laughs> Just insult injury here. Because why not? See this. Sometimes there's a raccoon leaf and. Oh ho! There actually is one. That's gonna come in handy like never. Actually, it's gonna come in handy for World 4. For level 4. Um, so I'm just gonna go have Mario. Gonna have Mario go up and fight the Hammer Bro. In the meantime. Wow, I do not have any power ups. It's kind of surprising, actually. So, um, this is the last Fire Flower we actually have, so we gotta be a little bit on the careful side. I don't want to actually get a Raccoon Tail there, so that worked out, actually, not needing one. Also, I don't think stars protect you from the fish, actually. Like the fish that eats you, I don't think the stars actually work. Which is actually really, really mean uh, that it doesn't work, if I recall correctly. Um, this level has a very weird mechanic to it. Um, this level is also really confusing. Basically, you can actually fly, but there's actually a block down there, so you can actually get up without flying, so that's convenient. Um, I'm trying to remember if this is one of those with it, like an infinite star power up, but I don't think so. I'm thinking it's World 7. I'm confusing a level that has the same aesthetic. Okay, that was just mean. Uh, that was just kind of mean, that timing. Uh, come on. Okay, that actually worked out, luckily. And just run to the end. That was four. That was three five or three four. That was three four. Um. So the next four levels are like notorious. Actually, I'm gonna do a skip. Um, I'm actually going to do a thing because the next time. The next turn. Oh shoot! I can't do that. I thought the other bridges were up too. Never mind. This level's not good with a fire flower. Yet they give you a fire fire flower. Thanks, game. Um, problem is, you have to do like a jump that where you can't go off screen. You can actually make the jump, but it's really hard to do with uh, a fire flower because you can't see what you're doing. Um, okay, that was way scarier than I intended it to be. No, that was not intended, in other words. Uh, there's a P-switch in this block? No. That was actually bad, I don't want to leave. I want to keep the fire flower, actually. For once, I want to keep a fire flower. That doesn't happen too often in this game, to be honest. Oh, it's this part coming up, actually. Um, what you want to do is basically, once it spawns, do that. And P-switch. Yet, this is still not the Mushroom House level. It's 3-8. Oddly enough, it weirds me out that it's 3-8 because there are so many coin levels, coin heavy levels in this world. And yet there's only one white mushroom house. So we basically have to do a regular jump here. And I missed. I don't know the speed of the roulette actually, that'd be something to google. What the speed of the roulette actually is and thus, is it like frame perfect? I don't think it's frame perfect. I think it's just like really, really fast. Since we have two hammers, we might as well. Um, this is shaped like a mushroom, which makes sense because there's so many mushrooms. This, and we don't actually have any raccoon leaves, so that's not too bad. Um, I'm actually debating what level to do next because I'm not cut out for either one. 
Never mind, actually. We are cut out for either one. Also, I want to point out that the fire flower looks different when in the menu right as you get it, compared to how it looks normally. So that's a weird quirk of the game. Um, you want to use fire power. That's all I'm going to say. And now it should be painfully obvious why. So just take shots like that, and you'll eventually hit it. This is the one where you basically get the white mushroom house. One of these... Oh, shoot. There's a uh, coin block uh, P-switch somewhere. I don't know where, though. It's funny, I've actually- this is like my most played game of all time, and yet I still don't know a lot of stuff about it. Um, it's one of those things. Aha! Mushroom. That is actually kinda useless. Um... I mean, there's so many coins here. I think you have to get a good 30, 40 coins, though. So it's, like, really hard. Um, oh, there's the P-switch. <laughs> Just gonna run to the end. I'm not gonna risk it. Uh, there's actually a- yeah, that little lip there on for where you like fall out of the pipe. That is actually really obnoxious because it cuts off your running speed. First try 3-8, I will take it. 3-8 is actually kind of a notoriously hard level. At least for me, I don't like 3-8 because it's hard. There's actually power up here in, in case you need it. You can actually skip a large portion of this level if you have a raccoon tail. And I will probably try to show it because I, I don't like this level. Yeah, I should show the level. So basically what you do is... Okay, this block contains a vine, and so basically you just climb up, and you can fly to the end of the level. Or close to the end of the level. Um, so I'm gonna try to do it legit though. <laughs> so I'm just skipping everything. Um, this level gives me trouble, but I don't know. I'm actually doing a first try here. Actually, this is technically not first try because it's like a fourth recording attempt, I should just say. But first try for this run. Okay, so... Looks like Mario's gonna... No, it looks like Luigi's gonna fight the boss. This level is actually one of the more weird levels because it's actually got a, a vertical component. It's actually unusual to have sort of, not a vertical component, that's not what I mean to say, but like a, a, lit, a tier component, kinda. And it's actually possible, it's really hard, but it's actually possible on these blocks to jump all the way to that H, to, to over the H, though I don't know how. I've seen it done, but it's just really difficult. Um, we have a fire flower going into the next level, so I'm down with that. The next level is actually notorious for being uh, one where you actually want to do a, what's called a fire kill on the Koopaling because, well, you'll see. Assuming we can actually keep the fire flower, that's another question. Because uh, this, again, is notoriously difficult. So, this is going to sound really weird, but we actually want to use the frog seat to go into the fort. Yeah, that sounds like a great plan to fight you know, Boom Boom as a frog, but it's actually an underwater fort, which is, I think, the only one in the game, to my knowledge. Um, yeah, if you use a frog suit, this is just kind of a joke. It's just save yourself some time and just don't do it. Don't swim up there. I learned my lesson on my first playthrough. Um, you want to swim down because the hitboxes on these boos is larger than they look. So, yeah, be very careful swimming around ghosts. Yeah, those guys don't appear again in the series, I think, until Mario Maker. So this is what I was talking about, where, you know, Boom Boom gets a little bit trickier, because you have other blocks to worry about. And I actually let him start flying, so that's bad. Um, I mean, once he gets in the air, it gets a lot harder. Um, so taking the hit with Froxy wasn't actually a big deal, because, um, frankly, we don't need a Froxy until World 7. That sounds crazy, actually, saying World 7, but that's the only other time I ever use a frog suit. If I get a stockpile, I'll probably try, try to fight Bowser with the frog suit just for kicks. Sometimes, you know, I've heard people do that, like, do a Bowser run with the frog suit, just to see if they can. And, but, if, yeah, I think I will do that, at least if I have a frog suit by then. This is shaped like Japan. This is actually where Nintendo's headquarters is located, I think Kyoto. But yeah, this is a reference. You'll we'll get another reference later on. That hippo rhino is from Super Mario World, actually. 
which is a case of like, you know, that doesn't exist at this point, so that was added in the Game Boy version. I don't know if it was in the SNES version, but I know it wasn't in the original, because that, the, what's it called, Rexor? The Rexor is something different. Um, yeah, I don't know what it's called, but basically it, it doesn't exist in 2 Mario Bros. 3. Um, can you actually make this jump? Nope. Yeah, actually make you take the long way. Uh, we do not want that block. I think that's a raccoon leaf. We do not want a raccoon leaf for this level. We want fire. Um, just again, this is one level where I will agree the fire kills are very good. Um, if you have a raccoon, you can just kind of float all the way across. There's actually a major skip in this level right here. You can actually jump across the top here and just skip a whole bunch. That's not a skip, because it's intended. There wouldn't be moles if it wasn't intended. Um... I don't know where the other wrench was, because there was one above it, that one. This one has a raccoon leaf, which is useless. This is Wendy O. Koopa's airship, and she throws rings. Uh, and trying to jump on her head is actually really difficult, because, well, rings. So it's actually easier to just do a fire kill for once. So that's it. Um... And that's all for World 3 of Super Mario Bros. 3. So you just fall down and get the item. I don't even remember what the item is in this world. I have no... I know also the king is designed to look like Mario because, it's, you know, as I said before, the castle is located where Nintendo's headquarters would be on the map. So that is intentional. Um... Music box that puts all Hammer Bros to sleep, so it's not that useful. That was a perfect clear of World 3. So, next time we take on the next world, World 4, which is oddly considered one of the best worlds in the game. So, thank you for watching, I hope you'll join me next time for more Super Mario Advance 4 Super Mario Bros. 3.